Okay, I get asked all the time, if I'm terrified to go into public gyms, can I do this at home? The answer is yes. We've had amazing results at home. This is how Peach Gains got started, was with the 12 week at home booty program. So today, we're gonna take you guys through the under booty version. So part two of the at home upper glute routine that we did for you guys last week. So here we are. I always recommend starting at home because you guys need to get confident in your forms. Start progressive overloading before you ever need to get into a gym. There's so much you can do at home in that first 12 weeks. That's the whole point of the 12 week at home booty program. And then you take it from there and you progress. So we're gonna show you guys that today. And this is our under booty workout here with Annie. She's taking her pre-workout. So to go over the supplements she will be taking, she's using her Peach Gains shaker bottle. She's gonna do pre-workout for the workout. I always recommend 15 minutes before, take a half scoop to ease your way into it if you're not used to taking pre-workout. Creatine for building muscle mass. You guys can either drink this with your pre-workout during your workout. You do wanna drink this during your workout, or you guys can use the BCAs, the fruit punch, to flavor your creatine, either or. If you don't want create or if you don't want pre-workout you can do it with bcas that works too and then she uses bcas just electrolytes muscle recovery hydration throughout the week for muscle recovery so again on our, our warm-up we do before every glute workout just some lateral walks get some blood flow going she'll go down and back is one she'll do this three times so i'll do your lateral walks to start for about one to two minutes one minute is usually fine and then you'll just after that add on some Step backs, stretching out that band. Two sets, 15 reps, something simple. Get the blood flow going in the glutes. And then we're gonna get started. Using the hashtag booty is life band. It's a larger band, but it's really strong, but it's good for exercises where you guys are needing more range of motion because it's hard to get that range of motion with fabric bands. That's why we got this large one here for today. All right, that's it. That's why you didn't wanna do the step backs. Yeah, you can do some step backs. Yeah. <laughs> she said no. You gotta let me know. You can't upload like. Wait, what? Get out of here. Yeah. Step backs. Come on, fifteen. I promise you, you the only person they're gonna have to laugh at is me, not you. Yeah. We will make never make you look goofy. <laughs> the shade. You can bring your band a little lower. Yeah, that's good. The lighting is crazy. So good. Exactly. They gotta, they gotta meet Annie somehow. There's a reason why we sell these as a trio set because there's some exercises where this will kind of just fall. Like she was doing some step backs. It's a little too big for that. So then you can use one of these bands that are all heavy uh, strength. She'll do the orange. There you go. But then you have a medium size, and then you have large for some exercises where you do need a bigger band for that larger or that bigger range of motion. Yeah. But if you feel like you're running into that situation where, or that problem where this band's falling off, you just need the smaller, the medium sized band. Yeah. We got 15 inch leg. I love those shoes. Peach Gains ankle straps. We're gonna do some lying lateral leg raises using the two bands. So like I've said before, they range from five to 20 pounds. The green being the lighter ones. There's two greens, two blacks, and the blacks being the stronger, the heavier resistance. So we're gonna connect both rings on these lying lateral leg raises. You guys wanna connect both rings on each side. And she's gonna lay all, all the way on her side, get comfortable. And we're gonna do 20, 15 to 20. We're gonna do 20. 20? Yeah. So like I said before, with the lighter resistance, go for those higher reps, right? Those last three to five reps are the only reps that really matter. These are really good though. So when you're doing your lying lateral leg raises, standing as well what you're focusing on is keeping this hip closed because as soon as this hip opens go ahead and kick now you're just folding out your hip wrong right now close it boom now she's creating the indent in her cheek every time yeah so and a way you got you guys can a way you can know that your your hip is closed is by pointing your toe and your knee down which she's not really having to here but if you feel like you're getting to the point where you can't keep your hip closed just put in your head, my knee and my toe facing down, heel facing up. That'll help. It all just, it's all bone anatomy. It's how flexible your hips are. Sometimes you gotta do a little extra. Good. Next side. Isn't it crazy? It's already the next week. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> we were here like two days ago. It feels like it was here two days. We were here two days ago. Same thing on this side. Uh, try to straighten that leg a little more. See how, yeah, see how it's bending? And then push your hips forward a little bit. Get top, mm -hmm. top of your hips. Uh huh. And, and to help with keeping your hip closed, put all your weight on this arm here. Mm -hmm. That's what will hold you stable, stabilized while you're while you're trying to hold your, your hip closed and kick at the same time. Use that arm. That's fine. And if you're feeling it where you're supposed to, which is in this lateral and upper corner of your glute, just keep at it, right? They're not always going to be perfect, but as long as we're feeling it where we're supposed to, those are fine. <laughs> yeah, they're burning. Are you, and you're doing 20 every time? Yeah. Those are good. How much do those burn, Annie? The two bands are so slept on. These are like your cables at home. It's like a it's like a uh, a fabric booty band in a tube that holds that time under tension a lot longer than you just kicking weights. That's what these tubes and the bands are great for. Okay. So uh, with the RDLs to get more under glue activation and taking hamstrings out of the movement, you're gonna create more hip flexion. And by doing that, you're gonna bend your knees more when you're coming down here. So yeah, you'll be able to reach a little further, right? But you wanna sit back, kind of like if you're gonna get in a squat. So a good way to train at this is let's just say this was higher, like up to my upper calf. A good way to train your mind and sitting in this hip flexion is feel like you're sitting down on this bench or whatever it is, couch. Feel like you're sitting down while you're shaving your legs, but you're not gonna actually sit down. You will feel so much under glute activation. That is what we're gonna do actually. We are gonna do, I'm gonna train your mind to do these. We're gonna put her calves up, let's see it. Up against the bench here. And it's gonna help train your mind and getting hip flexion. Cause if you're not used to that, if you're used to just normal RDLs, you're gonna feel a lot of hamstring and you're used to just having that slight bend in your knee versus that full hip flexion. Okay, here we go. So yeah, putting your calves up. So the whole point of having this behind you is to put your calves up against it though. Put your calves up against it. Yeah, lean, 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 uh-huh. You're gonna lean your weight against the bench, couch, whatever you're using, and then train your mind to sit. Mm -hmm. She can even get more hip flexion. So feel like you're sitting sooner. There you go, good. While still transferring your weight forward, right? So you're counterbalancing with the weights and your chest coming over your knees while you feel like you're sitting on whatever you're leaning up against. A good way for you guys to train your mind and getting that hip flexion to activate the under booty. Beautiful. So we got three sets of 15 and then we're gonna superset these which is just some fabric booty band donkey kicks. But these are really good. Notice how she's shaving her legs, keeping the weights close, really close to her legs. You don't want them out here. That's when you start feeling them in your lower back. So good. And this goes for your good mornings as well. You would just have the weight up here and you'd be doing this, right? Same thing. It's a good way to train your mind and getting more hip flexion. Good, Annie. So we're going to use the hashtag booty is life band for the donkeys to get more range of motion, more stretch. Let's see it. So we're using the larger band. Now, again, if you feel like it's a little too loose for you, just go to the medium size, whichever you have is fine. So what we can do as well is since we have the larger band to get more tension in the wider range of motion, we're going to bring this band down closer to your knees. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now go ahead. Yeah, you see that all the range of motion happens right here. Whenever you're doing hip extension exercises, lateral, it's all on your knees. Yeah. And we're going to do 20 of these. Just using the fabric booty band, getting full hip extension, right? That's what you guys need to pay attention to. So she's doing a little more of a quadruped. What we can, yeah, there you go. Extending your knee all the way out. Mm -hmm. It's more of that full donkey kick. Yeah. They're very similar, right? Good. But just working for it. You might not always get your knee all the way up when you're doing a fabric band. That's why you can bring that band in the thigh to help. But just controlled will tell you that you're getting as high as you can to get that contraction, right? Versus just pump it, trying to pump them out. You don't know if you're actually getting full hip extension to contract the upper glutes. Okay, let's do the other side. You can put it mid thigh. I think it'll be better for you. 
it's a little hard for you to get that up on your knees, huh? So we'll show you too with her putting it more mid thigh for her because I think she just gets more range of motion this way. Mm -hmm. See now she's getting her knee all the way up as she's hitting that full donkey, fully extending out. Now her knee is getting glute level. So, you know, mess with it, see what works best for you, where you're feeling most activation, go with that. And we got 20 of these, but th these are beautiful. Making sure you guys get full hip extension every time. Take your time with your reps, especially at home with limited weight. Make those reps count. The longer time under tension, the better. Yeah. All right, so we got the dual elevated hip thrust. We're gonna do 15 with the hip thrust belt and the dumbbells. And then she's gonna superset. We're gonna take the weight off. Yeah, just get it to your distance. Um, and then we're gonna take the weight off and then she's gonna do 20 more, 15 to 20 more of 20 if she's feeling crazy. And we're gonna do adjust the band to get that time under tension. Now we're working for the pump, getting that metabolic stress, most important part to growing your glutes. All right, you ready? So you'll just find something to set up. We got two couches here. You're gonna elevate your feet and your back. You're gonna get all the way down into your hip flexion, which is the whole point of this, to stretch the inner glutes, and you're gonna get all the way up, full hip extension, boom. So it's just your hip thrust, but you're elevated. Here we go. Now, when you do it with the hip thrust belt, make sure again, the dumbbells are nice and tight, and then you might have to hold the belt, but let's just see, whatever's comfortable to you. you and you might not. You see how the dumbbells just hold it there for her? Yeah. So it's all in the setup, but putting the dumbbells in there though, you gotta make sure they're nice and tight, Bring, it, bring your dumbbells really close to the belt and then put the straps over. Beautiful. So all the way down, full hip flexion, bringing her torso with her in her rib cage, and then coming up all together, getting full hip extension, and then forming the posterior pelvic tilt at the top while keeping her rib cage down, right? You guys don't want your rib cage to lift off where your, where your shoulder blades are on. Keep the rib cage down and by doing that, you will squeeze your abs and your glutes together. These, This is beautiful form while keeping your knees open. Yeah. You can even add a fabric band if you want. But start simple. Start with just the hip thrust belt or even just a band. And then you'll work your way to there. Let's just say week two, week three. That's just another way you guys can add more resistance. Get that double torque. Good. These are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just 15. And then we're going to take this off. Oh wait, band's right here. Right here, right here, right here. Now we're gonna put this band on and she's gonna do 15, we'll do 15 more. But that's your goal, to get that 20. Or let's say we're doing frog palms and we're set at 20 to 30, getting that 30. Start lower so then you can progress to those higher reps. Progressive overload is not just resistance, it's not just weights, it is also the reps. Good. All of it together, time under tension that's held, your reps, your weight, that's all progressive overload. Anything where you're progressing, you're gradually increasing over time. These are really good. So keeping the knees wide, that's the whole point of having this band here. Resist the band, don't let your knees cave in, in the hip flexion or the hip extension. So good. Her form has gotten so good from being a beginner and being so new to glute training, just do 15 and you're done. Yeah. But notice how deep she's getting on her hip flexion. This is where you're getting that stretch in your under booty is the hip flexion. And then this is the upper glutes here. Yeah, once you get all the way up to hip extension. Beautiful. So we got the feet elevated frog pumps. We're gonna we're getting into the burnout now to finish this glute workout. Just find something to elevate your feet. You're gonna resist that band the whole time. I recommend putting it mid thigh like she did here so you can keep your knees open and you're in the actual frog position, not a glute bridge. Beautiful. And then she's gonna work for 20. 20 to 30, 30 if you're feeling crazy, but you can do 20, that's totally fine. <laughs> okay, and then making sure you guys are getting your back flat every time, reset the pelvic tilt, keep the rib cage down. You're, you're getting a little higher in your rib cage, there you go. So if you feel like you're hyper extending and you are lifting that rib cage too high, pelvic tilt sooner before you get hip extension, but these are fine. So working all the way up to hip extension and then forming that posterior pelvic tilt, which is the squeeze of the glutes and the abs together. Good. And then we are going to superset with just some lateral walks in hip flexion position to activate and stretch those under glutes one last time. We got two rounds of this and we're done. But we usually do two rounds of the burnouts 
by the time you guys get to your burnout you're pretty tapped out nice part of the burnout we're gonna do some lateral walks now on these ones let's keep a wider base so don't let your feet come together keep a wide base only get as narrow as shoulder width apart and then you're stretching that band from there let's see it and let's hold the weight we're gonna hold the weight add some weight to this hip flexion uh-huh and you can even get in a deeper squat too i honestly i can't okay that's fine <laughs> don't you don't need to then <laughs> But with these lateral walks, you guys want to be in a little deeper of a squat than when you're warm up lateral walks, right? That's just to get the hip flexion in the under glutes. <laughs> Those are good. I, I think I got enough talking in that one. Okay, that's good. So by now, you guys should have your pump. You guys should feel the burn in your glutes after your burnout. So these are the two glute workouts you guys can do now for the next four to six weeks to see growth and just these exercises that you guys should be repeating. So you got the upper glute from last week and then the lower glutes from this week. And this is what I recommend you guys do in routine, working to get confident in your form so that you guys can start progressive overloading, whether that's reps or that's weight. And then using BCAs for muscle recovery, especially if you guys are a beginner, you're gonna get sore. So don't be too sore for that next glute workout. Take your BCAs, that's what she's got here. You guys can now drop comments on what you would like to see in our YouTube channel so we can help you guys build your glutes, whether that's diet, whether that's workouts, whether that's equipment, whatever it is, supplements, let me know in the comments. But next week we'll be in gym and we're gonna show you guys an in gym routine for building your glutes.